Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my another new video. Today I will discuss about elements of bus design. Although a fair city, although a variety of different bus implementations exist of different bus implementation implementations exists there there are a few basic few basic parameters parameters or design design elements that serve to classify and differentiate buses that serve to differentiate buses bus types bus lines can be separated into two generic types bus types bus types bus lines can be separated into two generic types into two generic types dedicated and multiplexed dedicated and multiplexed A dedicated bus line is permanently assigned is permanently assigned is permanently assigned either to on function or to a physical subject physical subset of computer components an example of functional dedication functional dedication is the use of separate use of separate dedicated address dedicated address 
and data lines which is common on many buses however it is not essential for example for example address and data information may be transmitted over the same set of lines using an addresses valid control line addresses address and data information may be transmitted over the same set of lines using an address valid control line at the beginning of a data transfer at the beginning of a data transfer the address is placed on the bus the address is placed on the bus and the address valid line is activated at this point At this point, each module each module has a specified period of time period of time to copy the address and determine if it is the addressed module the address is then removed from the bus from the bus and the same bus same bus connections are used for the subsequent read or write data transfer same bus connections are used for the subsequent are used for the subsequent read or write read or write data transfer and data transfer 
this method of using the same lines for multiple purposes is known as time multiplexing this method of using this method of using the same lines for multiple the same line for multiple purposes for multiple purposes is known as time multiplexing is known as time multiplexing the advantage of time multiplexing the advantage of time multiplexing is the use of fewer lines which save space and usually cost is the use of fewer lines which saves space and usually cost the disadvantage the disadvantage is that more complex security is that more complex circuitry is needed within each module is needed is needed within each module also there is a potential reduction also there is a potential reduction in performance in performance because certain events that share events that share the same lines cannot take place in parallel take place in parallel elements of bus design although a variety of different bus implementations exist there are a few basic parameters or design elements that serve to differentiate buses bus types bus lines can be separated into two generic types dedicated and multiplexed 
A dedicated bus line is permanently assigned either to on function or to a physical subset of computer components. An example of functional direct dedication is the use of separate dedicated addresses and data lines which is common on many buses. However, it is not essential for example address and data information may be transmitted over the same set of lines using an address valid control line at the beginning of data transfer the address is placed on the bus and the address is valid line is activated at this point, each module has a specified period of time to copy the address and determine if it is the addressed module. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for new video updates.